Namaste guys, Rajesh here. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Cyanogen Mod 13 on an Android device. The actual process of installing a custom ROM is pretty easy. It is actually the conditions before that that needs to be fulfilled which are a bit complex and varies from device to device. So the first requirement of installing a custom ROM is that your device must already be rooted with a custom recovery like TWRP or CWM installed. Second, it is recommended that you create a backup of all your important data on the device because installing a custom ROM will wipe the system and data partitions of the handset which means that all your installed apps and their associated app data will be lost. So these are the two major prerequisites that you need to follow. If you are already running Cyanogen Mod 12, 12.1 or any other custom room, installing Cyanogen Mod 13 on your device is going to be pretty easy. So let's get started with the process itself. The first thing that you need to do is boot your Android device into recovery mode. This usually involves pressing the volume button and the power button in a specific key combination but it varies from device to device. If you don't know the key combination for your device, you can use an application called Quick Boot from the Play Store to quickly boot your device into recovery mode. So once your Android device has booted into recovery, the first thing that you need to do is wipe the system and data partitions. This will remove the existing installation of Android from your device and will allow you to install a new version of Android. If you don't wipe the system and data partitions of your device and flash Cyanogen Mod 13 over it, chances are your device will end up entering into a boot loop. So head over to the wipe section, then select advanced wipe and then select the system and data partitions. Do not select the internal storage option since Doing so will format the internal storage of the device which contains the zip file of the Cyanogen Mod 13 ROM and the Google Apps package. So confirm your selection by swiping this arrow at the bottom of the screen to the right. Once it's done, press back and head back to the main menu of TWRP. Now tap on install and navigate to the folder where you had transferred the Cyanogen Mod 13 zip file. For me, I had transferred the file to the root of the internal storage of my Nexus 5. Tap on the file and then once again confirm your selection by swiping the arrow at the bottom of the screen to the right. The installation process will take around 30 seconds to a minute. Once it's done, simply tap the reboot system button to boot your device into Cyanogen Mod 13. While you have installed Cyanogen Mod 13 on your device, your work is not yet done. You still don't have access to Google's suite of apps and services like Google Play, Google Calendar, Gmail, etc. These apps are not included in Cyanogen Mod 13 or for any custom room for that matter due to some licensing issues. So you need to flash the Google Apps zip package file separately. While you can flash the Google Apps zip package file and then boot your Android device into Cyanogen Mod 13, I would recommend not doing so. Instead, I prefer that you first flash Cyanogen Mod 13 on your device, boot into it to make sure that your device is successfully booting, then again go back to recovery and flash the Google Apps zip package. The first boot after installing Cyanogen Mod 13 can take its own time, but there's nothing to really worry about. If in case you think that your device has entered into a boot loop, go back into recovery mode and repeat the steps that I've shown in this video. So once you have confirmed that Cyanogen Mod 13 is booting on your Android device, switch it off and again go back to recovery. In Cyanogen Mod 13, you can quickly boot your device into recovery mode by enabling the advanced power menu option. This can be done by going into settings, scroll down to about phone and enable the hidden developer options by tapping on build number 7 times. Then again head back to settings, go to developer options and enable the advanced reboot option. Now long press the power button to bring up the power menu, select reboot and select the recovery option. Tap on OK to confirm your selection and your device will now boot back into TWRP recovery. The only thing that you need to do now is flash the Google Apps zip package file. There's no need to wipe the system or data partition of your device. So simply tap on install, select the Google Apps zip package, confirm your selection by swiping the arrow to the right. Installing the Google Apps package will also take around 30 seconds to a minute. Once it's done, simply tap on reboot system to boot back into Cyanogen Mod 13. And that's about it. This boot might end up taking some time, but there's really nothing to worry about. So guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching it. If you're facing any issues while installing Cyanogen Mod 13 on your Android device, drop in a comment below and I will help you out. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.